Well, a puppy can be a great addition to a new home, but there is a little work involved. Ask Clayton's wife. I mean, uh, Clayton Clark is live with some tips to teach your dog all the tricks. <laughs> oh, good morning, oh, Clayton. Those just, are fighting kidding. Words. Fighting just kidding. Words? Just kidding. Well played, Kopi Sotoropoulos. <laughs> Yes, when I came home for the first time, uh, my wife had some uh, kinks to work out with me. And then when we brought our puppy Jack home for the first time, we had some kinks to work out with him also. And that can happen to any family where you bring home a puppy or a kitten. And we're at the Valley Animal Center here today to help with all those new adjustments if you received a new pet for the holidays. We'll start with kittens and Katie. Uh, first off, if someone didn't get a kitten but wants one, there's a great deal for cats at the Valley Animal Center right now. There is. For all of our KMPH viewers today, all of our kitties are available at a lowered adoption fee of $20. And that's down from our regular home for the holidays special of $40 for the adoption And fee. that still includes all the vaccines and everything. It includes all the vaccines and everything. We're just trying to get these guys home for Christmas before the new year. And when you bring a cat into a new home, is there anything you should be aware of or do with the cat to help them feel comfortable in a new home? Definitely. Um, by natural instinct, cats are very independent. Um, they really don't like sharing their space with a lot of other animals or even people sometimes. So there's going to be a lot of different things as far as scents and new environmental things that they're going to have to adjust to once they get in the home. And if those things aren't solved from the very beginning, you may have behavioral issues. And also sometimes they end up actually urinating or defecating on your, on your furniture and the rest of your house. So definitely want to get those problems solved. Right away. And this is one of the kittens that's up for adoption right now? This is one of our kittens. This is Pet. Peddler. Now, a lot of people think that he may not be a kitten, but actually these guys tend to lose their baby features pretty quickly. He is about six months old and he is very, very much a kitten. Though he doesn't look like a little baby, he still will get into mischief and give you lots of love and need extra, extra attention, um, more so than an adult cat would, definitely. And there's many cats available here right now. Oh yes, over 400 animals right now, or over 400 cats right now and kittens included in that right now. We're just really overwhelmed due to the economic crisis and haven't really had the high adoptions that we usually have each holiday season. So we're really trying to get these guys homes. And also looking for homes or some puppies like this one right here. Oh, Jack, you all right? Never stand behind the cameraman, Jack. Rule number one, he's, like I say, he's not media trained. Uh, this is Remedy, one of the uh, pu puppies that's available for adoption here at the Valley Animal Center. And we were talking about acclimating dogs to homes, and that can be just as challenging as cats. Uh, what's first step? Number one, you have a dog, you're driving home. What do you do, Erica? Well, one of the first things you want to do, like Katie mentioned with cats, also for dogs, you want to make sure that you give them some time to make the transition from their previous home environment to their new home environment. Um, make sure that you introduce them slowly to other dogs in the household. Um, make sure you keep a lookout for any stress signs, um, stiff body posture, growling, anything like that. If you see any of those signs between your new dogs when you're introducing them, just remove the new dog and try introducing them again later. Okay, and then the ultimate training, potty training for dogs. Uh, Mari, what can first one step number one with that? Um, step number one, um, we, we do recommend a strict eating schedule. Um, you usually take your dogs out first thing in the morning, before they go to bed, after a heavy play session or nap, as well as after they eat. Um, we, it's recommended to take them out on leash so that when you do take them out, um, you can take them to the preferred potty areas and they can focus more at the task at hand instead of getting distracted. Uh, make sure to give them the command when they go and praise them afterwards so that they not only associate the, the command to the action, but they um, there's positive reinforcement there um, associated as well. Um, it's, uh, it's also recommended um, crate training as well. So yes. they, they don't usually don't make a mess in a small area, especially one that they sleep in or spend a lot of time in. So by crate training, it encourages them to hold it until you, they can be taken outside. All right, so Jack, we need to train you a little better, so we're going to work on that right now. Uh, so sit, sit's pretty easy one. A lot of dogs can pick up on that right away, but what's something you should maybe train your dog that's a good way of getting their attention, keeping them focused on you? Focus is a really good command to learn, um, especially for your dogs. Because a lot of times dogs uh, become desensitized to their name because you call it so often, so they have a little selective hearing. Um, mm -hmm. Teaching them focus is really easy. Using a treat, you can just swipe it in front of their face, tell them focus. As soon as they make air contact with you, tell them good boy, good girl, give them the treat. If you practice this a lot, um, they usually learn it pretty quickly and it's a really good, oh, he's still focused on me. <laughs> good boy. It's a really good thing for them to learn right up front. So you want to get them to basically make eye contact with you? Yes, because that means pay attention to me, I'm going to be telling you to do something instead of just chill for a while. <laughs> okay, Jack, focus. Focus. <laughs> oh, and he's going to be a star student. Focus. Staring really contest. <laughs> I haven't blinked yet. Oh, you blinked one eye. 
<laughs> nice try, Jack. All right. So uh, some good tips for those of you receiving new pets for the holidays, and you can still get pets. Like I said, cats are only $20. So some great deals for those of you that still want to put four legs uh, in the home.